I'm Aurika Savitskaite, the co-founder of HelmetBasedVentilation.com. On our website, you will find all the information about helmet ventilation, the medical guidelines from University of Chicago hospitals, and uh, where you can get the helmet so your hospital can use it for the patients. Today, I will talk about one of the helmets that is made by company Extol. So we got it in the mail. So it is, as you see, one piece. It has the uh, arm straps uh, already attached and also it included a neck template so when you measure patient's neck you use this template to make sure that you cut the correct size of a hole in silicon so this silicon um, part is soft uh, it is thick and uh, I already cut, based on my measurements, uh, a hole for my neck. And uh, I'm gonna put it on. Uh, also, before putting it on, I wanna mention that this part can be changed. So if you use it for the patient and for some reason it's cheered down or something, you can always get this, only this part from the company. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to uh, replace it. Okay, so, all right, so it's uh, pretty comfortable. It's not too tight around my neck. And uh, here, as you can see, is the patient access port. Uh, other models has it on the bottom part. This is in front of the patient, so that's, that seems pretty comfortable. And uh, you can open it and do the suctioning or give a sip of water for the patient and uh, close it to make sure that there is no air leaks. Um, so if I'm going to lay back, uh, it feels okay. So for that reason, I have a pillow here. Uh, you definitely will need to uh, put some towels or pillows behind because what happens if I'm pressing too hard, then I feel like I'm getting uh, air leak here. So you see there is a uh, opening around the neck just because the ring is hard and it's pushing forward for me laying back, okay? All right, so let's take it off. All right, and uh, my suggestion, make sure the patient doesn't wear makeup because as you can see, I have a makeup stain, stains here. Uh, now for these ports in and out, uh, we will need to use the connectors that are found in the respiratory department and I have them here. So this is the output portion and it fits pretty well. It actually fits very easily on. So just you want to make sure that it doesn't get disconnected with the p-valve where you can adjust the pressure and this is the connection for the gases right all right this actually feels very tight and it should be secure so it doesn't pop out when we get the gases flowing and you can see more on our in uh, infographics how to connect all these pieces together. And also all these guidelines are on our website from University of Chicago. Thank you.